Okay, so question 22 was as follows. The diagram below shows a hooded rectangular block of length 20 cm, breadth 10 cm, and height 5 cm. So, uh, the block being described in the statement above is the one which is drawn here. So, you can take time and look at the block. Okay, now the actual question we're going to solve is down here which is given that its density <coughs> is 0 0.06 gram per centimeter cubic find its mass given that its density is 0 0.06 gram per centimeter cubic find its mass okay so uh, to find the mass, uh, that means we need to multiply the density by the volume because uh, the formula for finding mass using density is uh, mass is equal to density times volume. Okay, so when we look at the statement above, you see that the volume is not given, and here in the question, the volume is not given. However, we are given dimensions that can help us to find the volume. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the volume of this block. Okay? So the volume, to find the volume of any, any object or any regular object, we use the formula which is volume is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. Okay? So, which is, we're going to write volume is equal to, what is the length? If we go to the statement, you find that the length is 20 centimeter. But in case you're not given the length uh, in the statement, but it is given in the diagram. So, the longest uh, side is the length. Okay? So, which you are going to say, uh, 20 centimeter. So, the length is 20 centimeter which will be multiplied by the breadth. The breadth is 10 cm and the height is 5 cm. Okay? Then we're going to say volume is equal to... So we're going to multiply 20 cm by 10 cm will give us 200 cm squared, which will be multiplied by 5 cm. Then we're going to write volume. Then we say 200 cm squared times 5 centimeter will give us 1,000 centimeter cubic. 1,000 centimeter cubic. So the volume of this wooden block is 1,000 centimeter cubic. Okay, now we have found the volume. That means we have, now we have got the volume as well as the density. Now from here we can now go ahead and calculate the mass of this wooden block. So here we're going to write the formula of finding mass. So mass is equal to density multiplied by volume like I said earlier on. So meaning we're going to have mass and what is the density? So the density is this uh, quantity given in the question which is 0 .0, 0 0.06 grams centimeter cubic. So that's what I'll write there, which will be multiplied by what is the volume? The volume is the amount we have just from calculating the one of circuit there, which is 1,000 centimeter cubic. So we're going to multiply by 1,000 centimeter cubic. Okay, then we're going to write mass is equal to, so when you multiply 0 0.06 gram centimeter cubic or per centimeter cubic, times 1,000 centimeter cubic, we are going to get 60 grams. So when you multiply 0 0.06 grams per centimeter cubic times 1,000 centimeter cubic, we are going to get um, 60 grams. So if you have got question, ask in the comment section. If you have issues with multiplying decimal numbers, how we have come up to 60 grams, you can ask in the comment section. We can create a video that can help you to understand how it has happened and where the centimeter cubic have gone.
So in short, the centimeter, when we say gram per centimeter, it's more or less like a gram and centimeter cubic, it's a fraction where a gram is the numerator and centimeter cubic is a denominator. And then the centimeter cubic at 1000, that one is also a numerator. Okay, so meaning the centimeter which is a denominator and the centimeter which is the numerator, they will cancel each other out. That's why you have seen the centimeter cubics have disappeared. Okay, like I said earlier on, ask in the comment section, we'll be glad to do a video to clarify this. Let's go to the next question.